everybody sup I want to do a little haul of the things that I picked up at the thrift store funny story actually the clips that you guys just saw my little vlog clips are from two weeks ago and I'm just now doing the rest of this video pretty much because I have been so swamped the past couple of weeks with school so I'm really happy that I finally have the time to sit down and show you guys what I got I feel like I haven't done a thrifting video well first of all I haven't gone thrifting in general in so long honestly it's probably because this semester for me has been hell as it has been for so many people i know and i went thrifting this day that i went on a whim because i had a couple classes that day and then after class i just decided like i really needed to go do something that makes me happy and give myself that little positive escape even if it was only a couple of hours i went to three different stores as you guys saw because i really was not having good luck which obviously it's hit or miss when you go to a thrift store if you watched my last video i talked about how i have been listening well actually i think i've been talking about podcasts for a while now like i've been super into podcasts for the past few months and I listened to Emma Chamberlain's Everything Goes and I'm pretty sure this is something that she said on her podcast. It could have been something she said in a video but I think it was the podcast. I don't really remember but she said when you're buying new clothes if you can't immediately think of three different outfits that you could wear whatever article of clothing you're looking at with then don't buy it because you probably aren't going to end up wearing it. The things I'm going to show you guys I definitely can think of three ways to wear them. They're good for layering you know what I mean? I am a huge layer to be fair, this bag is huge, but it's because there are three jackets in here. I have a problem when it comes to jackets because the thrift store has the best jackets. It's fall right now and getting into winter, it's getting colder. So most of my outfits consist of a shirt, obviously, a pair of jeans, either cute booties or my Air Forces or some other type of, you know, shoe like that and a jacket over it. That's what I wear. And I just interchange the pieces to make it look like the outfits are different, but in reality, they're all the exact same thing. It's my favorite combination right now. So that's fine. Okay. Okay, so let me begin with the first thing that I see. This first item is this Peter Pan collared shirt. What I love about this is that these are snaps, not buttons. So it's so easy to put it on and take it off. The reason that I got this is so that I could layer it under things. You know what I said, I'm a big layerer. I love the look of wearing a collared shirt underneath like a crew neck. This one that I'm wearing is also thrifted. I just love this look. I'm always wearing sweatshirts, so it just kind of adds a little bit of flair to that. And I am just a really big fan of it and I think that having like a white collared shirt is something that's pretty much a staple wardrobe staple so I wrote how much everything was because I took all of the price tags off to try everything on and wash it and everything this collared shirt was $5.99 but it is really really nice and honestly I don't think anyone ever wore it next I got this I don't know what the fuck these are called I always call it a quarter button up and I don't think that's right but if this was a zipper it would be a quarter zit. I don't know. But anyway, it is just this really pretty, it's like a reddish, it's definitely red. It's not bright red though. This is from J. Crew. I think that this fits really, really nicely. I love the color. It is literally perfect for the fall and winter. It's really comfortable. You can tuck it into jeans. You can pretty much wear this so many different ways. You can wear a jacket over it. You could layer a turtleneck under this, which is something that I'll probably end up doing. I put a turtleneck under freaking everything. Wearing this with like a white 
turtleneck underneath peeking out would be really cute. I think this is a really nice staple basic piece to have and it's such good quality. I'm really happy with that. Let's see how much it was. I don't remember. $5.99. That is that. Coffee break. Oh my god. Moving on to one of my favorite pieces in this haul. This jacket that I'm about to show you is from the second one that I went to which was a bit more expensive. It wasn't like a chain thrift store. It was a local church or something and the people that worked there were so nice. And when I checked out, the woman at the register looked at my receipt and she was like, you just provided 13 meals for, I think it was the homeless that she said. It was just really sweet. So I felt good about buying there and I felt like the proceeds from my purchase was going towards a good cause. Anyway, so I got this, you guys. These are literally my favorite type of jackets right now. They give me London vibes. I've never been to London. I've never been to Europe in general. I could be wrong, but that's just the vibe that it gives me. It gives me that type of London street style vibe. These jackets are so easy to just throw on with literally any outfit. I am a big plain outfit girl and I like to have a piece that I can throw on top to like give it some flair. So for me, these jackets are exactly that. This one has like a black and white speckled, kind of looks like TV static if you think about it, which love that journey for me. Love that journey for me. But it's pretty long, which I also love for some reason. I just really enjoy when things are oversized and long on me. This one was actually $9.99, which I don't think is really expensive. I feel like that's pretty typical women's jacket price at a thrift store. So next we have this one. It is this, is color block the term? Would that be the correct term for this? I believe this is black. I have so many issues trying to differentiate between black and like a dark navy, but I'm just gonna say that this is black. It's this black and tan jacket. I freaking love this. It is so warm. I thought that it was another piece that I could put over a plain outfit and have it add something fun to it. You know what I mean? I really enjoy everything about this. I, I'm obsessed with getting jackets from the thrift store. That jacket was also $9.99. All right, next, another jacket. So this one is this, God, this color for the fall and winter is everything to me. I really, really enjoy this color. It is soft. It is such a nice material. It's padded on the inside. It fits so nicely. It's really long. I really like the jackets that cover your butt just because I feel like they're so much warmer. Yeah, I picked this up. The color of the day that was on sale was the green tags and this one had a green tag so it was originally 13 bucks and it was 50% off. So I got that only for $6.50. I just felt like that was a steal so I'm really happy about that. And then we have two more items, okay? I got these two items and I bought them with the idea that I wanted to flip them. You'll, okay, let me show you what they are so then you'll understand what I'm talking about. I picked up this hoodie. Looking at my prices, this hoodie was $7.99, but I bought it because I had a vision. It is this Duke hoodie. Like this would be cute on its own. However, I have a million hoodies. I really didn't need just another typical college hoodie from a school that I don't attend. So I bought this and then I also bought this navy pullover situation. I want to cut the arms off of this hoodie and replace them with these arms. We will have, I, I don't know how to show you that. Do you think if I laid this out it would be easier? Give me a second. <laughs> Pretty much what I wanna do is make it look like this. I want to perform surgery and give it new arms because I just think that it would make it look kind of cool and different instead of just having a plain gray hoodie that I have a million of, you know what I mean? So that would also be a fun project for me. So that is the end of my haul. Those are all the things that I got. And my next task that I want to do and also show because I love filming me sewing things. I don't know why, I just really enjoy that. I love filming like thrift flips and obviously this is only one thing, but I thought that it would be fun to include include this as well. So the next segment of this video will be me flipping this sweatshirt. I'm gonna need to strategize. I think I know what I wanted to do. All right, so without further ado, let's transition to the next part of this video, which is the thrift flip. I'm starting off by performing surgery using this seam ripper that I got at the craft store for like $2. I am very carefully seam ripping the arms off of both of these articles of clothing since my plan is to take the arms from the quarter zip and put them on the sweatshirt body. Taking the extra time to carefully detach with the seam ripper as opposed to just hacking the arms off with scissors was definitely worth it because it set me up better for the next step that we're going to do.
Next, I'm pinning the newly detached sleeve from the blue quarter zip to the hoodie to prepare for sewing. How I'm doing this is I'm taking the blue sleeve and keeping it right side out and I'm flipping the hoodie inside out. Then I'm inserting the blue sleeve inside of the armhole of the hoodie with the arm inside the sweatshirt and the armholes matching up. I'm just lining the top of the sleeve up with the top of the hoodie and the same with the bottoms of the sleeve and the hoodie and pinning them together there. And then I'm just gonna pin a few times in between those points as well. Once the sleeve is all pinned, we are ready to sew. Now for the fun part, sewing the new arm to the body of the hoodie. Since it's much easier to work with one arm at a time, once this arm is sewed, then I will repeat the whole process that I've just shown you on the other one. But for now, we're just gonna work with the first one. So I'm going to go around the arm joint, if you will, twice with two different stitches. For the first one, I'm just doing a standard straight stitch all the way around to join the two pieces together. After that first stitch is done, I'm going back around with a zigzag stitch to reinforce the bond and prevent the arm from simply ripping off sometime in the future. I'm not sure if this is what you're supposed to do, to be honest, uh, considering I am not a professional, but I always do this because it makes me feel better. Now that we're done the second stitch, we have officially completed our first sleeve transplant. Now I'm just turning the sweatshirt and arm right side out to make sure I didn't royally fuck up. Oh my god, I did it. Shut the fuck up. Crushed it. So now I'm just going to repeat the entire process that I just showed you on the other arm. Now that we finished the full transplant surgery, it's time to reveal the finished product. It is me editing because I did not film an outro. Are we surprised? Not really. So I just wanted to wrap up this video really quick. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this style of video. I actually really did. And I feel like I want to do more of these in the future where I go on a thrifting trip and I show you guys what I got, even if it's not like a ton of things. I always feel like if I want to make an entire thrift haul that I have to have like 20 things. But when I go thrifting, I still get really excited about what I get. So I still want to show it. And then a lot of the time I have a flip idea in mind that I want to do with whatever it is that I got. So I thought that it was kind of fun having the little vlog clips and then and showing you guys the haul and then doing the flip all in one video so let me know if you guys enjoyed this format so with that being said that is the end of today's video so thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you liked it if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up if you stay until this point in the video comment down below i'm a real one because you're a real one if you want to see more videos from me make sure you hit the subscribe button i post a new video every single sunday if you forget that i post a new video every single sunday or if you just want to get notified right when i post a new video then make sure you turn on my post notifications it is the little bell icon so that you get notified exactly when I post a new video. And yeah, I think that's it. I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.